You are tuned in to The Art of Words, hosted by Gavin Rasmussen. Hello, my name is Gavin, and you're tuning in to The Art of Words. In today's episode, we are beginning to read Behind the Mask, 40 Quarantine Poems from Humboldt County, edited by David Holper and Anne Frick. Behind the Mask is provided to us by Humboldt State University Digital Archive. Since the start of COVID-19, many have turned to different art forms, expressing their feelings of concern as well as disbelief and just how to live during this time. Refugee by Lasara Firefox Allen. You are in your distant, sparkly, smelly city celebrating your six-month anniversary during Shelter in Place. And you are sad. We never stop being parents, and I wish I could change all this for you. All this, I say, and imagine I am waving my hands around, gesticulating wildly at the very air we breathe. You are out there in that shiny city air, and I wish I could change the fact that global warming and pandemics are the cold war of your generation. Except now the war is heating up and global warming brings nightmares larger than a mushroom cloud. We are already climate refugees. Home no longer exists. It has been eaten by fire. Raptured by Robert Allen. The rider came frenzied on a pale horse and his name was Pestilence. Other riders held for a moment, then flung the deathly themselves back to other violences. This is what it comes to, what fear is. A white horse, a disease, and alone, the way the fury of the long night comes on. The following by Michael Bickford. With acknowledgments to Billie Holiday and Abel Mirapol. These fallowed fields frame our time, the structure of our soil redefined, untilled, until the flood we know will come. Well worked before the blight, we test its tilth in silent streets, quiescent public spaces. But the abandonment is hollow, only surface bare. The buildings bleed so thick, they are with life and longing. Still, we shelter in our private places. The flesh retreats to salty, sallow bones of sickness and regret. In desperation, we borrow the youth of our children's lives, secretly reverse our parents' mortgage, and pawn grandparents' legacy for booze. All to justify preserve the privileged past the bill is due ironic electronic comics comix on the air virus protection severed at the head logic circuits shorted out with hairspray spurring minions on to armed denial open up damn the data full speed ahead yo gallows crooners sing to the gallery Appeal for more applause as trapdoors drop and body bags of new strange fruit are hanged from pure white yardarms of the good ship Hope, its red double crosses spawning tent morgues, embalmed, becalmed, fallowed. Now the fever fills the lungs and shallow. Intubated, breathing clings to life. We cultivate, we culturate, evacuate occult blood from our bowels as all around us human tallow drips and draws the sea salt sorrows from our eyes. Ground fog rises to lowering sea clouds. The vampire mist is brighter than their slate as dawn light splits the air from darkened hills. Gray rainbows wet the backs of fatted calves. The morning comes, yet... No one wakes. We sleep 
fallowed. These naked fields will in time be fecund. Weeds that we call crops will intercede. Though oceans we pretend to rule are beckoned by our fires to salt the seated shore, the earth below, slow burning, will explode. Our culture is at work at home. The culture of the loam, the tunnels of the worms, the nematodes of joy, the nodes of nitro-fixing germs. We till to live, we live until, untilled, we fallow. How will the callow children of this night begin to find their hallows of delight? Thank you for joining us today in this episode of The Art of Words. I'm your host, Gavin Rasmussen. And just a reminder, be sure to stay up to date on your COVID-19 vaccinations. This has been The Art of Words, hosted by Gavin Rasmussen. If you'd like to leave suggestions, email us at ewcfacts at gmail.com. That's ewcfacts at gmail.com. This has been an EWC Communication production.